Okay, next we have rogue machine detection. And with rogue machine detection, we basically want to make sure <laughs> we identify people that don't belong on our network, right? That could be a neighboring company. Perhaps we have a company that's sitting next to us in an office building. We want to make sure those people don't access our wireless networks. We want to make sure malicious hackers, perhaps in a lobby or a parking lot, maybe a nearby building. Remember we talked about cantennas and uh, specialized pieces of equipment that can give people extended ranges on their wireless networks. We don't want people uh, hopping onto our specific networks and perhaps accessing our data or uh, you know, trying to disrupt things in a malicious fashion. Additionally, unauthorized people connecting via Ethernet. All right? In other words, jacking into the network. Right? If they have their own Ethernet cable or they come down, sit at a desk, and they see a spare Ethernet cable, if they plug in, and we have no rogue machine detection or no method to shut them down, then they're, they're going to get an IP address and they're going to get access to our network, potentially. So we want to shut that down. We don't want people to, to be able to come on board and then start doing whatever they want. Whether we place them in a quarantine zone and check their identity and their authentication, maybe check that they have the proper uh, antivirus program or the proper virus definitions and so forth, we do a series of checks to make sure that they're good to go before we allow them on the network at large.